Hello, Internet! Praise be to God, and welcome back to Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. I'm Colorful Artie. So before we go to the final story, what I want to do is go back to all the levels, not all the levels, but all the levels where there was a piece of equipment that we did not get, get that equipment to better prepare us for the final story. So every character missed out on some equipment, and as you can see, our stage select is now filled with levels to choose from. Sweet. So let's start with Sonic. Sonic is only missing one piece of equipment, so we're going to City Escape. So, as you can see, there's Mission 1, and then we also unlocked Mission 2. I'm not actually going to get into all the different missions, because that only matters for a 100% playthrough. But basically, Mission 1 is clear the normal level. Mission 2 is collect 100 rings. Mission 3 is use Mystic Melody to find a Chow that's lost somewhere in the level. Uh, mission 4 is beat the first mission in under a strict time limit. And then Mission 5 is Clear Hard Mode, where it's a harder version of the level. Well, hey, we get to uh, experience City Escape again, which is nice. I am still not used to using the skateboard, apparently. But hey, we got the shield that time, so cool. We can also show off if we go... ouch. If we go over here, we can do this. The, we can use the fire somersault. Hit this switch. Rains appear, and we can do a light speed dash across. We can also use the bounce bracelet to get through the, these rails easier. Woohoo! Man, that last ramp is really hard to get the trick off of. Anyways, the, the item is pretty far into the level, and you need the Bounce Bracelet and the Flame Ring to get to it. So basically, you need to have completed Sonic's story. Take my lead, I'll set you free. Alright, yeah, so it's at the bottom of this giant building. So basically, we run down it, we're gonna get launched on a pole that we can flip off of. We're actually not even gonna make it onto the pole. That's cool. So above these stairs, you'll notice there are these four metal plates on the floor. Those are the tops of metal boxes. Now that we've got the flame ring, which also lets us destroy those, and the bounce bracelet, we can do that. There's a hidden room down there. We don't, we do not want to hit the trampoline, Sonic. Instead, we get this power up, the magic gloves. Change the ma to the magic hand in the action window. Press the B button when an enemy is close. Capture enemies and the when they turn into a ball. Try throwing them at other enemies. So this is a really, really weird power up and not very practical. But basically, you can compress Y to make the action window come up, and magic hands turns the enemy into a ball, and then we can throw it at other enemies. It's really weird, and honestly, if you're trying to just A rank every level, these are really bad. But it's also kind of amusing. And on that note, we are done with City Escape for at least this Let's Play. Next, we'll get Shadow's special equipment. It's on Radical Highway. You need the air shoes to get it. Thankfully, this one's a bit closer to the beginning of the stage. So the stage starts out like normal. Actually, I can't remember exactly where this fiend is. I know generally how to get to it, though. Okay, yeah, it's up here. If we go backwards here, we can somersault under there. There's this, this rain path. We can dash along this. And we get the flame rain! So this lets Shadow do the fire som somersault to destroy the metal crates. Again, I don't think this is actually necessary to do a whole lot of missions. Probably hard mode you need to, uh, to use it. But it's not too bad. And that just takes us back to the main stage. Nice going. We have all of Shadow and Sonic's equipment. So that's Route 101. The Route levels do not have any special items on them. 
We've got the Mission Street one. Okay. Let's go to Iron Gate, shall we? Because now that we've got the large cannon that we lets us destroy metal crates, we can have access to the next Eggman item. Man, that first checkpoint is close by. Why is Eggman so slow? Like, on this level in particular, he's so unbelievably slow. Eh <laughs> Ole! Oh, the power of the air hover. Aha, yep, blow up those metal crates, and we get the laser blaster. Lock on missile power up. Missile spreads as it explodes to destroy enemies in a wider area. So this basically means if we walk onto a single enemy and there are other enemies near it, when it explodes, it'll kill all of those enemies. Which actually can be detrimental to your A rank. So as you can see, we're now shooting large green blasts. And it makes larger explosions. That can actually be almost detrimental to getting A ranks, because you can accidentally destroy enemies you haven't walked onto easier. But it looks cool, and it can be a save your butt several times, so I like it. Now let's go to Prison Lane. Tails has the same power-up waiting for him here. Unfortunately, I think it's at the very end of the level, so that's fun. Okay. You better believe I'm looking all around. Oh, maybe it's through here. Nope, that's just a chow crate. I know, Omo Chow. I've played this game more than you have. Please give me control over the camera. It literally will not let me change the camera at all. That is such bull. The bull stands for Bulloni. Yeah, I can't remember exactly where the power-up is. That's okay, though. It's not beyond those crates. Out of my way! Yeah, if you don't care about getting the A rank, Tails levels are pretty easy. You just mash the B button. It also makes the levels a lot faster. Push me up! Perhaps it's up here. Nope. That's where the Mystic Melody thing is. Nothing beyond there. That's cool. Hey, what the heck? What hit me? I'm just waiting for it to be like, oh, you missed it. It was way far back. I want to say it's at like the very end of the level though. I remember at the end of the level there were iron crates.
Sure enough, there it is. Get out of my way, crates. This gives us the laser blaster. Lock on missile power up. Missile spreads it as it explodes to destroy enemies in a wider range. We also look really boss now. Alright, it's time to go back to an early stage. Wild Canyon! Because this is the only piece of equipment Knuckles is missing. First thing you want to do is fly up here. I believe it is to our left. Sure enough. So climb on this wall. At the top you'll notice there's a really dark painting up here. You can dig through it to pass through. And we get Mystic Melody. Change to Mystic Melody, blah blah blah. Same as same old, same old. So this makes us a warp. This brings us back to the main room. Kind of cool. Now let's go back to Dry Lagoon, because guess what? Rouge needs the Mystic Melody as well. So we're going up to the tip top. And not just because that's where it's beeping. Be Alright, nothing in there. Perhaps in here? Sure enough. It's painting behind all that. We can dig through. Never mind. Wrong painting. Oh wow, 20 rings. That's nice. No, I think it's through here. Or maybe not. There's one of those paintings in somewhere around here that we can dig through. So that's where we started. Bah, I knew I should have researched this before doing it. It's been so long since I've had to get Mystic Melody as Rouge. Eh. Get me off the platform, please. Thank you. Maybe it's in the second area. Aha! I could barely see it because it's blended into the wall so well. But this gives us Mystic Melody! Yay! I will cut most of that footage out, for sure. That takes us back to the start. Sweet. Alright, let's find Mystic Melody's Tails and Eggman now. For Tails, we're going to Hidden Base. For Eggman, we're going to Sand Ocean. Whew. Yeah, so for example, showing off the laser cannon, we only walked onto two fiends of dynamite, and yet all three of them blew up. That's thanks to the laser gun. Take that, Omo Chow. Again, walked onto one fiend of dynamite, all three blew up. Thankfully, I remember exactly where Mystic Melody is on this level. Actually, speedrunning this game could be pretty cool. Because Tails and Eggman actually are apparently pretty fast if you can get them to run in a perfectly straight line all the time. Easier said than done, because it's like, oh, they're walking ever so slightly to the left. They're going so slow.
yeah, here when you've got the laser cannon, it looks like the laser cannon hooks on to that, as opposed to Tails grabbing it. Okay, yeah, down here. Bazooka those out of the way! And we get Mystic Melody. Sometimes you can open up doors by playing Mystic Melody at these pedestals. Playing Mystic Melody does nothing if you're not at those pedestals, though. Alright, time for Eggman. This is right next to the start, so this is awesome. Also, this level is made infinitely better with the hover ability. No! Thanks for jumping, Eggman! Let's try that again. There we go. Wait, what the heck? There are no enemies around to drop bombs! How did those bombs come around? Well, that's Mystic Melody for Eggman. We finally have Mystic Melody for every character. This is kind of cool. This gives us a warp that takes us like halfway through the level. But that also makes your score plummet because you only have half the level to destroy enemies and stuff. So, I don't recommend doing that, but it's kind of cool. Alright, it's time for the last piece of equipment, and it's probably the be one of the best, pe uh, best hidden pieces of equipment. It's in Security Hall. We need like every Rouge power-up to get this one. Alright. I actually looked this one up ahead of time because I couldn't remember for the life of me where it was. So we want to go up to, I believe, this yellow set of platforms. And we're basically up... Metal Crate? Could this be the one? Maybe not. Basically, there's a Mystic Melody pedestal somewhere around here that we need to activate. It's a cage, not the one we're looking for. Could be up here. Could be up here. Nope. Oh, sweet. Silly me, there it is. Yeah. So we play the Mystic Melody. Yeah, that's right. So it creates platforms there. Then we can destroy these blocks. Get a secret room with the Treasure Scope. See fiends that you couldn't see before. Change the action window with the Y button, press the B button to use, just jump to take them off. It's the equivalent of Knuckles' sunglasses. Let's see invisible stuff, and it's necessary to clear the hard mode missions for most of Rouge's levels. I say most because she does have the car racing level. Alright, before we end the episode off, I want to take one last visit to our chow garden to see how our chow are doing. I like going as Tails. Tails controls really nicely when he's outside his walker. Whoosh! Hey, just go into the black market first, you know. Typical stuff. Ooh, now we can buy a gray egg, which is a thousand. We can also buy a cardboard box, which is another hat, and a pan. Okay. Let's take Gabriel back. Yeah, so today's lesson is the trumpet. And I'm pretty sure our Chow can't learn the trumpet because they already learned the tambourine. Or it could be that they can learn the trumpet, but then they can't play the tambourine anymore. Yeah, I think it's actually the second one. Alright. So I want Gabriel to be a hero guy, so what I'm going to do is gonna pet him with tails. And give him some stuff. 
We'll give him all of our chow drives. And I just realized, since I have the other memory card in with my 100% uh, Sonic Adventure 2 data, <laughs> I think I can actually show off my other chow. So now I'm going to pet him. Oh, he likes it. I named him Gabriel after the angel from the Bible. The one who told Mary that she was going to uh, be the mother of Jesus. Aww. Again, I apologize if I spelled Gabriel wrong, but I think it's I-E-L at the end. Alright, he doesn't like that. So every time I pet him as tails, he gets a little lighter in color. As you can see, he's no longer like that beautiful sky blue color. He's turning more and more white. Oh, he's so cute. Now he's turned, yeah, he's white with like blue. And that's a sign that he's becoming a hero chow. Oh, and with those little bumps on his head. Yay. Oh, he's so happy too. I'm, uh, he's adorable. All right, I'm going to come in as a dark character, take Adam out. Start to turn him into a dark chow, and then I'll show off the chow games. I will be Eggman. Again, Eggman is fun to be because he's outside of his walker. That makes it sound like Eggman's really old, like, Slow down! I, I can't keep up! Look at how fat he is! And yet his legs are so long and skinny, it's kind of weird. Aw, he's cute too. He just has bad ra uh, <laughs> rankings. Here's my pride and joy! Welcome back to the Chow Garden! I love how he just says Yosh. So if we pet our Chow with our dark guy, he'll slowly get darker in color. Yep, see? He just noticeably turned a bit darker. Oh, look at how cool he looks now. Yep, sure enough, he's turning black now with red markings. That means he's going to be a dark chow. A dark neutral chow, I should mention. Because if I give him a ton of swimming stuff, he's going to change color as well. But he'll still remain a dark color. Alright, that's as dark as I think he's going to get. <laughs> he also now has, like, bat wings. That's kind of weird. Alright, you have to go for this waterfall! We can go do Chow Race or Chow Karate. I'm gonna show off Chow Race first. So right now we can do Beginner Race or Party Race because we only have Child Chow. So yeah, you'll notice Slot A. Oh, can I only choose from Slot A? Okay, never mind. Maybe I'll show off Chow Race in another video. We can do Chow Karate. We can do Chow Karate, have our Chow verse each other. I'm not actually going to do that, but that'll at least let me show off the Chow I have on the Ever Memory card. Some of them are really cool. Yeah, it will do interleague game. So this lets us choose from the different memory cards. So on this memory card, <laughs> we have Knights. We have uh, Dark Knights Chow that will eventually look like Evil Mickey Mouse. We have a Sonic Chow. We have like a Magma Chow. Uh, these two are not very important. Uh, how do we go to the other gardens? Oh, we can't. We can't go to the other gardens. Oh, no. That's not even my coolest chow. I have a ghost-like chow who's transparent. I also have an invisible chow. They are both really cool. I also have a hero chow who is, like, unbeatable. Because he's an S rank at power and really good rank in other, the other categories. 
Oh well. <laughs> Having a little trouble there, Eggman? Alright, I think that's all I have to show off for today. In the next episode, we really will do Final Story and finish up the Let's Play. Hope to see you then. In the meantime, I'm Colorful Artie. Have a great day, and God bless.